In this session we discuss Facebook badges. In a previous session we discussed how to place badges and widgets on a WordPress website, but in this session I want to discuss the different types of badges that Facebook offers, but also how to place them on a traditional HTML website. So first to get to the Facebook badges page, you'll go to facebook.com slash badges as seen here. Now let's just pop open the first one, the profile badge. What this badge does is it shows uh, my profile picture and then it will also be a way for people to click on that picture and have them go to my profile. Now since we're going to place this on either a WordPress site or an HTML site, we're going to choose Other. Now what happens when we click on Other is that we get some code that we can then copy and then place on the website of our choice. First I'll demonstrate how to put it on a WordPress website. Now when I say a WordPress website, what I mean is a, is a website that's powered by WordPress or using WordPress as a CMS or content management system. This process would be similar if you were using Drupal or Joomla or some other kind of template based or widget based content management system. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab onto what's called a text widget in WordPress. I'm going to pull it up here onto one of my primary widget areas or my sidebar areas. Now we've already had an entire session about how to populate your WordPress sidebars and so you might want to watch that if any of this looks unfamiliar to you. Now we're going to paste code into our text widget after get it, giving it a title and then we'll save it. And when we preview our site, we'll see the profile badge, which is just an image that somebody can click on. Now the difference between a widget and a badge is that a badge is typically only a visual representation of a link. A widget typically has more functionality, and we'll have an entire session on Facebook widgets as well. Now let's go ahead and take a look at a very basic HTML site. We want to place the badge code that we just copied onto this website so that the badge will show up in this area right here. So if we use Dreamweaver or a similar HTML editor, and we can scroll down in the visual area We place our cursor somewhere near where we want it. We can usually go into our HTML code here. And it is a good idea if you know a little bit about HTML if you're doing this. Now I'm assuming that you do know a little bit about HTML, otherwise you're not going to have access to these files. But right here is the end of, an, of a list, a list that starts UL, LI are list items, or UL is an unordered list. And then here's the end of it, unordered list. And that unordered list is actually our menu items here. But I want to go underneath that unordered list. And I'm going to paste that code, that Facebook badge code. Here it says Facebook badge start. And here it says Facebook badge end. So that's all of a code that represents my Facebook badge. And then if I take a look at this file. I see that I now have my menu items I saw before and I have the badge underneath it. And now if we go back to our profile badge page we see that there are a few other badges that we can create. Let's take a look at the like badge. Now what this badge does is it allows you to select a page that you have liked in the past and select that page and place it on your website to say that says I like this page and if you click on this you can like this page as well. And you would typically do this for your own pages. What we're going to do is copy again we're going to copy the code. I'm going to go to WordPress again grab up that text widget pull it up here under the profile widget and paste the code.
Now we see underneath our profile badge, we have another badge that says that I like this page. So by clicking on this page, you can either go to the page or you can create your own like badge. Now again on our HTML page, we will want to go underneath the Facebook badge that we already created and paste our new code. And if we view that page, we'll see that we have our Facebook badge and we also have our Facebook like badge. Now let's take a look at photo badges. A photo badge is, is where Facebook grabs photos from your album or photos that you have uploaded loaded into Facebook and creates a badge from them. You can have a horizontal badge or a vertical badge and you can choose the number of photos that you want featured in that badge. Now once you do that you can click Save and again we can create the code that we can then copy and paste into first of all a text widget from WordPress Give it a title. Save it. And then again, we can view it to see what it looks like on our WordPress site. Now, similarly, we would we would go into Dreamweaver and paste the code underneath the badge we have here and then we would see the the photo badge again. Now finally let's take a look at page badges. A page badge will let you create a badge for a page that you've created. It's not just a like badge like the one we saw earlier that we could actually create for any page. This is a, this is a badge that will let you feature the pages that you've created. So if we want to choose the page that we want to highlight, click on Other, copy that code, then we'll demonstrate this one in Dreamweaver for our HTML site. So again we want to go to the end of where we had place that other badge or really anywhere on your HTML site that you want to place the badge and then go ahead and view it. So now what this shows is the Plum Web Solutions Facebook page on our website so that people can subscribe to it right from within our website. And so hopefully that demonstrates all of the different types of Facebook badges there are. If we go back to the badge home, we took a look at the profile badge, the like badge, the photo badge, and the page badge. In a later session, we're going to take a look at the social plugins. Social plugins are what Facebook calls them. I actually call them widgets. So we'll take a look at these widgets in another session.